welcome back. So today I'll be showing you guys how to make one of my favorite things to eat for breakfast and that is steamed cakes. I know I made pumpkin ones before and that was with freshly mashed pumpkins. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make the original kind with milk and eggs and you don't have to add any flavorings to it but I'm going to add matcha powder to mine. To make them chocolate flavor, you could also add cocoa powder or you can make them coffee flavored if you like. And for toppings, it's optional, but you could also add, say, chocolate chips or raisins, sweet red beans, M&Ms. They are so easy to make from the moment that you start preparing all the ingredients to the moment that it's actually in your mouth. It takes less than 20 minutes, so super fast. And I just made them. They look like this in the end, really soft and moist. And I put dried fruit on top for mine and sprinkle with some um, powdered sugar and it's really, really good. So let's get started. As you can see here, only six basic ingredients are needed for this recipe. All you have to do is combine the wet and dry ingredients together. And you can feel free to play around with the ingredients. For example, if you would like a gluten-free option, you could use rice flour instead of cake flour. Next up are the wet ingredients. First, scramble up the egg. Over here, I'm using milk. You could also replace this with yogurt. And if you're looking for a less sweet option, you could use honey instead of sugar. Finally, add your vegetable oil. Over here, I'm using camellia tea seed oil. And finally, combine together the wet and dry ingredients and mix until you no longer see any flour chunks. And clearly, I got lazy here. You are supposed to sift in the flour so you don't get any random chunks, but yeah, I didn't do that. And it doesn't really matter because it's pretty easy to mix evenly. I'm using silicone cups here, but if you're using paper cups, make sure to put them into ramekins first. And this recipe makes four. If you are using toppings, add them now. And it's finished! I'm just going to add a little bit more powdered sugar. Here it is, soft and squishy every time. 